What's going on, everybody? Sitting here down in the uh, studio. I'm gonna, oh, 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 yep, there it is. There's uh, the Thugginator, which I uh, think I'm going to have to rename Jenny Craig because she's a heavy bitch. But that one's all good to go. I've got the uh, Sidewinder SCT ESC in it. I've got the uh, 3800 KV uh, Castle motor in it. It absolutely screamed until I uh, managed to strip out the uh, heavy-duty uh, bevel gears that were in it. So, another setter on their way. That thing is absolutely ridiculously overpowered, but it's awesome. But, the real reason why I've turned on the camera is I have another vehicle now that's ridiculously overpowered. You guys might remember this truck. This one... Uh, was a dedicated uh, 1.9 scale truck that I had for quite some time. What I've gone ahead and done to it is I've basically turned it into a F off Rancho. And no, it's not the F off like you think. It's, of course, Formula Off Road. But basically, I turned it into a Formula Off Road Rancho. I'm using the stock SCX-10 frame I've made a done the uh, bomb proof uh, transmission to it all metal internal gears all metal case the uh, slipper is the gen 3 for the Wraith this one is a 48 pitch versus that one being a 32 pitch so that one's faster this one's got just insane wicked speed to it it's using stock uh, axial wraith slash AX10 shocks I have the uh, top cad 4 link kit under there you guys can see it and you can also take a look and you can see judging by that you know I've got a Traxxas power plant in here I have the uh, the V3 XL system in here this is the uh, 3550 motor and paired with that is a Venom 5,000 milliamp, 50C burst, two cell lipo. And if you can see up under there, I've got a little hole drilled in the bed of the truck. That goes up into this totally kick ass custom uh, toolbox that I got from my very good friend and fellow YouTuber, the Mad Dog Madigan. We did a little trading back and forth for some Vanquish stuff. That's how I was able to hook up with the. Uh, Team 36 seats that are in there. Got like some good scale goodies here, like this little dual tank, looks like oxyacetylene. Uh, somewhere later on here, we've got the power plant for the, uh, the DMG here, the uh, propane tank. Oh, what else? Of course, you guys already saw the other goodies, like the GOAT 3S system. Got all that stuff. I've already field programmed that. It's absolutely ready to go all I've got to do is wait for my replacement battery to show up for that one that one was a 5600 60C but for some reason it didn't charge and I called Venom and they were more than happy to uh, replace the battery I didn't even have to send it in all I had to do is just take a picture of it stick it in a uh, container full of salt water and they shipped one out the same day, so it should be here probably Monday. But back to this truck. Of course, you can see also, big props to uh, Chris over at Triple X Motorsports for sending me the stickers. As you can tell, bro, I'm putting them to use, man. I've got them on everything. I've got them on uh, Jenny Craig over there. I've got them on this one, which I have yet to name. Of course, I don't know if you've seen it yet. And of course, this is upside down, but I did a little conversion on the Tundra. I took one of the larger scale decals that I purchased earlier, and I combined the Triple X on there. And down the tailgate, I've got his YouTube channel and his Facebook on there, too. So it's just like a real ad. There you go. That one's for you, Chris, man. This is a... I had to do some modifications to this truck, but now with these tires on there, it looks more realistic, especially when going into the uh, when going into the mud. So there you go. There's the Tundra, but 
It seems that when I did the uh, the axles here and did the four link kits, it clocked the axles on me, which was a little annoying at first, but I got over it quickly. And you can tell also that I'm running uh, MIP spline CBDs. Uh, there's not really much else. Everything else is oh, these are all parts laying around. I didn't have to order anything for this truck. The axle housings were left over from when I changed over to Vanquish on Jenny Craig. I've had the servos laying around. The links came off in favor of the titaniums on the DMG chassis. Um, the guts for the axles, those are all uh, leftovers, even though I do have the XVDs in the front. Uh, standard lockout in the rear. It's actually a really, really simple truck. It was just, I had so, as you can tell, I've got so much shit cluttering my workstation right now. It's not even funny. Perfectly a good set of uh, Super Swampers that were originally on here. This is going to have multiple sets of tires on it. Right now it's got the TSL boggers that I've cut. Those are going to be for mud. Make a really nasty pit. See if I can't get this thing stuck, which I highly doubt with the Traxxas system in it. And with having that Venom Lipo, that's really going to make a difference. Those tires are going to be more for, eh, let's say, like hill climbing, which is why I have the other set of TSLs on the uh, the DMG chassis, because that one is that one's just straight up insane. I can't wait to show you guys some running videos of it, because it is just wicked. It'll blow your mind. A lot of money in that truck, but it is worth every penny. When I drive it, you can't smack the smile off my face. Um, I'm using my standard Spectrum DX3C radio for this. And as you can see, this is just a magnetic tray, really, that pops off and conceals my uh, ESC, or not my ESC, my receiver. That way, when I'm gunning it through the uh, mud, everything stays dry that needs to. My electronics, of course, are all waterproof, so the only thing that was left would be the uh, receiver, and that has now been taken care of, so we are all good. It's got a very, very mean stance to it. It looks really cool with the tires hanging way outside of the front of the truck. I'm going to get around to stickering that up. I had it out in the driveway today, and it's just an absolute monster with the V3, uh, the V3 XL system in it. Uh, also coming up to, I'll also be doing a build on the uh, Tamiya Ford Aeromax semi truck. This will be the third one, and the tanker trailer. As a matter of fact, I've already picked out the color too for the uh, the Aeromax. Since you guys know, I went with the champagne for the King Hauler, and I used the bright yellow for the. Uh, Night Hauler. For the Aeromax, I'm going to go with Canyon Green Metallic, which is a Ford color, so it's fitting. So that's just a little, uh, little taste of uh, what's been going on here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I get I'm so stoked to get that these two out on the trails, just ripping it up. This one will probably you'll see first before the uh, the DMG because this one's ready to go. But yeah, once again, uh, big thanks to uh, the Mad Dog Matt again, uh, Chris from Triple X Motorsports. Go over check that channel out. It is insanely freaking cool. All the videos he busts his ass to get that channel the way it is. Um, also, once I get these up, this one is kind of starting to look like a Ethan Tanner buggy here. So, you guys who uh, watch uh, Mad Ram 11's channel, this will be the little uh, one-tenth scale replica. Seeing how, I know those buggies go anywhere from sixty dollars to $80,000 for a full-size rig. I've got about two grand in a one-tenth scale rig. I think it'll be a pretty cool com uh, comparison there. Only thing I'm missing is... a. Uh, some uh, GotMadRam11.com stickers on it. That'd be freaking awesome. Then it'd look truly like the 1-1 one -one counterpart. But, don't want to keep rambling. Uh, if you like what you see, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time.